Okay guys, and welcome to the second episode of Trigger Happy Havoc from Danganronpa series. Um, we're going to play through the prologue today. I'm not sure if we're going to make it the whole way through though. Because I have no idea how, how extensive it may be. And I really want to keep these videos to a minimum of length. So they're easy to upload and all that stuff. And easier to edit as well. The game will begin from where you last left off. Is this okay? Sure. Let's start then. We'll jump right in. I'm still really excited. It's been about three days since I filmed the last episode. So it's currently Monday, but you guys will probably see this around... Um, I'd say Sunday, because I think I'm going to be posting these on Sunday. Again, I'm listening to the soundtrack, which I still think is one of those most wonderful soundtracks. I've heard in a game um, because the audio from the built-in microphone of the phone isn't that bad and the only thing that could be a bit unbearable is the clicking of the mouse uh, but if I use the, the the mouse pad on on the laptop it's still it's it's uncomfortable so I hope you guys can bear with that let's just go So, we're sitting at a desk. Last time we basically entered the, the main building. This is where we're at right now. Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of a hard wooden desk. My body feels heavy. It's pretty normal for me to zonk off in the middle of some boring class or whatever. But what was I doing asleep here just now? This isn't a classroom. I've never been here before. What the heck is going on? Oh, I like the art style. Uh, welcome to Hope's Peak Academy. Firstly, we'd like to explain the basic controls. You can use the mouse to adjust your aim. If you aim at an object you can interact with, you can press the left mouse button. And presto, you'll investigate that object. Use the WASD buttons to adjust your viewpoint, or you can press and hold the right mouse button and uh, move the mouse around. Why don't you try looking around the classroom? Okay. I guess I can interact with the clock. Jeez, can't believe it's already 8 o'clock. It was just after 7 when I first got here. Has it really been almost an hour since then? I guess I can interact with the camera. Let's see. Uh, is that a surveillance camera? It's a dangerous world we live in. I guess they have to keep these weirdos from just wandering. And I suppose so. There's a note down here. Uh, that's the desk I fell asleep on. I can still see a line of drill <laughs> I must have left there. I'll have to clean that up later. Hey, what's that on my desk? It's a note. An orientation guide. It's some kind of cheap looking pamphlet and there's something written on it. Let's see. The next semester is about to start. Starting today, the school will be your entire world. That's extreme. Uh, what, what the hell? Is this some kind of idea of a joke? Let's see what else we can... There's a board over here, a TV, is that a monitor? Oh yeah, a TV, okay. There's a TV, the school is funded by the national government, so I guess it's not that weird to have TVs in here. Something feels off, I wonder what it is. I bet the fluffy teddy bear will appear through there. Door or closet? I'd better look around the classroom a little more before I head out. Okay, so it is the door to leave. Are these desks? Oh no, it's the door again. Okay. Let's see over here. What are those things? Like, boards? What the heck? In any normal classroom, that's where a window should be. Yeah. But it looks like some kind of metal plate has been bolted over it. And if I were to knock it on it, let's see. Yep, definitely metal. Thick too, very solid. Wait, that's not what matters here, more apparently. Why are there metal plates over the windows? True though. Okay, let's see. So what might have happened is I got myself so wound up, I passed out in the main hall and then someone carried me here. If that's true, it must mean this is a classroom inside Hope's Peak. But then if that's true, that just raises more questions. This is really strange. I mean, those metal plates covering the windows, it's like it's a prison or something. None of this makes any sense. I should probably head back to the main hall. It's already past the meeting time. There might be other students there now. 
You can leave the class classroom by pressing the R key. Okay. Let's leave then. Leave this area. Uh, yes. Perfect. Oh, I like the purple lights. Or the, is that the color of the lights reflecting on white walls, or, or is it the walls that are properly purple? Uh, the hallway is kind of weird too. It is. This is getting stranger by the second. The doors are very strange as well. Uh, I honestly have no idea what's going on. I mean, they probably might be Japanese school doors though, so my bad. Uh, well, for now, I'll just head to the main hall. Use the WASD key moves to move through the hallway, hold down shift while moving to run. Oh, so I actually get to move and first person. Are there gonna be jump scares? <laughs> also, you can press the tab key to bring up a map. Uh, press the tab key again to close the map. How convenient. Of course it is. So I just move my camera with the mouse. I move like this. Oh, it's so weird, dude. I don't like that it turns different colors everywhere. Uh, let's see. What's shift to run, right? Do I have, like, a stamina? Do I, like, get tired of running or something? Uh, despair hotel. A hotel. I guess it's a place for people to stay overnight, but anyway, I need to get to the main hall. Okay. Um, I should probably open the map, but I kind of want to explore as well. So let's see. I wonder where this red door leads. I'm starting to feel sick standing here. Uh, I don't like that at all. I suppose this is the only way. AV room. Is that audio visual? Uh, it's locked. I suppose it is because of the, of the mixtape on front. Uh, broken door. Keep out. We're not keeping out. School store. Okay. Uh, can I jump? No, I can't jump. Uh, emergency exit. Oh, I can go through there. There was a hallway I didn't go through, though. Uh, by the time I got back to the main hall, everyone else was already there. That's... That's a weird main hall, and those are very weird people. I would be intimidated just like, did you see that dude on on the right side? He looks like he can beat you up. Like, look at him. I can't point my mouse, but long white hair, pretty buff, tattoos, scars. Okay. Oh, then you guys are all. Yeah, we're all new here. Today's supposed to be our first day of class. So, counting him, 15, huh? Seems like a good cutoff point, but I wonder if this is everyone. Standing before me were the ultimate students that had been handpicked by the school. I looked around at everyone who, who'd gathered there, taking in their faces one at a time. Maybe I was just imagining it, but I swear I could feel a kind of aura coming from each of them. True though. They're like very unique each. We get to see each of them. Oh, that's that's actually wonderful. I'm very intrigued. Uh, sorry I'm late, a bunch of stuff happened, and then all of a sudden I was just asleep. You too. So I guess everyone... Okay. Oh, who does this girl remind me of? Of a Pokemon. I don't I don't remember. It's, it's a dark type Pokemon. I think it was introduced like in Gen 5 or something. Uh, yeah. I don't remember the name right now. Uh, Gotharita or something like that. I, I don't remember. That evolution line. Okay. Uh, things just keep getting curiouser and curious sir i've never heard of that word I, or it sounds weird curious sir I, I suppose it means more curious but i i haven't heard like it used too often uh so strange i declare beyond a shadow of doubt that this is a strange situation indeed uh, i don't like this dude um what are you talking about i honestly have no idea what's going on right now just a moment there is something else we must address Makoto, your tardiness is unacceptable. Surely you were aware the meeting was to start at 8 a.m. sharp. To be late on the first day is unspeakable. I don't like this dude either. I don't like his eyes. I must report you and you must accept your due punishment. Who is that dude? Uh, what's your problem? It's not like he wants to be late. He didn't have any control over it. Uh, everyone just calm down. Listen, why don't we all go around and introduce ourselves? That would be cool. This guy looks like a Pokemon as well. Uh, the hell. Now's no time for friggin' introductions. 
I like that they censored the words for YouTube, <laughs> for YouTube purposes. I don't have to censor them myself. Uh, maybe, but it may be good to at least find out who we all are before digging into the bigger problems here. I mean, how are we even supposed to talk to each other if we don't know each other's names? True though. That's a good point. I don't trust this girl. She looks very shy, but I think she would backstab us. I I'm, I'm, I'm sure she will. Uh, okay, so let's get introductions out of the way. Then we can move to, we can move on to whatever else. Sounds good. She seemed like a yandere. I don't know why. Uh, I'm still totally lost, but uh, I think it's best to just focus on getting to know each other for now. So I guess this is a good chance as I'm gonna get. I already looked everyone up on that Hope Speak Academy thread online, but I still don't know really. I still don't really know what kind of people they actually are. Time to find out. I'll start by talking to those five over there. Aim at a student and press the left mouse button to talk to them. Each conversation is more important to the overall story, so keep track of how they go. That's gonna be difficult. That's gonna be difficult. I bet that's gonna be difficult. But okay, we'll, we'll do our best. Let's see, we'll talk to the scary guy first. I don't like him, so let's get it over with. Uh, Kiyotaka Ishimaru. I believe in bold simplicity. Let's work together on our educational crusade. He's weird. This looks like a military dude. Cause like, I thought that was a Nazi uh, band on his on his arm. It's not. Uh, so that's Kiyotaka. According to what I saw about him on the thread, he went to a famous private school and won top honors every year. He's basically a flawless honor student. He's pretentious. He's a pretentious little brat. Okay. Uh, he's also known for the work he's done with his community's public moral comedy. Okay. Uh, they saw he respects rule above all else, earning him the title of the ultimate moral compass. I don't like him. Anyway, uh, he, he's like, uh, what do you call the alignment? Um, like, what's it? Lawful, lawful good, right? I think lawful good. That's basically one of the extremes. He, he's that, I suppose. Anyway, uh, you can call me Taka. You said your name was Makoto Nagi, right? Uh, that's a good name. Strong name. You should thank your parents for giving you such an excellent name. And to keep that name from losing its value, you must devote yourself every single day. He's really extreme. Uh, he's gonna tire me, for sure. Life is worth putting every ounce of effort into it. Right? Right. This guy is kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, we agree. He's kind of annoying. Uh, let's talk to this other dude that I don't like either. Oh, his voice is awful, my god. Uh, I am Hifumi Yamada, but if you want to call me by my nickname, <laughs> the Alpha and the Omega, I don't mind. I guess he's the smart kid, whatever. Let's see, ultimate fanfic creator. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. By the way, how much do you know about the world of 2D art? World of 2D? Well, in that world, I am well known for, uh, known and supremely well regarded as the ultimate fanfic creator. I once sold 10,000 copies of one of my fan comics at a school festival. The event has passed inland into legend. Some of them didn't get it, of course, saying I tainted the event. How stupid can you be? He looks like a mouse. I don't know why. Uh, that's too bad about them, but selling 10,000 copies like that is definitely pretty remarkable. The, word, the words of such idiots mean nothing to me. I am like Van Gogh. <laughs> Dude. Utterly unappreciated in my time. I mean, if you sold 10,000 copies, I don't think you're unappreciated, but... Oh well. Uh, I'm a soldier serving night and day to destroying all mindless preconceptions about fanfiction. Okay. I'm sure if you were to observe my work, Mr. Nagy, you would comprehend its greatness immediately. For my work is filled with deepest meanings. What kind of meaning? It's about embracing our basest urges. I don't think I want to comprehend it. Okay. He's not a, as bad as I thought, but he's... I don't know. He seems pretentious as well. I don't like him. Let's see this dude. Leon Kuwata. Okay. He seems, he seems like a, a person that would appear really mean, but... Something off of him kind of vibes like I can trust him. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be mistaken. 
but I think we can trust him. I recognize that name. His hair is different. He doesn't have a beard either. He played for the National High School Champs at their cleanup hitter, the ultimate baseball star. At that superb athletic specimen is. Okay. You seriously? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just surprised. I figured with you being the ultimate baseball star and all. What were you expecting? Some kid with a shaved head? Oh. Shaved head. Uh, no, I was just expecting more of a, you know, sporty looking traditional baseball player. I mean, when I found that article and picture of you online, that's how you look then. True. Oh man, you found that picture of me playing baseball? Seriously? I hate that picture. This is not cool. This is so not cool. Seriously. I'm like mega embarrassed right now. <laughs> he talks weird. Uh, I didn't have a choice, okay? Shoving your head like that is part of national championship regulations. That sucks, actually. But now I refuse to cut my hair, and I'm not gonna dye it back to normal either. Oh, so it's dyed that color? It looks natural, looks good. Actually, can I be totally honest with you? I don't like baseball, like, at all. I've never gone to a single prep. Whoa. He's never practiced, and he was still his team's star player. He's some kind of prodigy. And as soon as I got accepted here, I quit baseball for good. I have my own dream of the future. A dream for the future. My only path in life is getting into music. You can feel the star quality art I have, right? That's true. I can't argue with that. I'm gonna be a singer, so all I need is a songwriter and someone on guitar. And we're set. This new version of me that's chasing after my dream is like Super Bowl to the max. Again, he talks weird. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I never imagined I'd hear something like that from Baseball All-Star. Okay, we have two girls left. This girl that gives vibes of a yandere for some reason. She looks like really cute, but I think she's a yandere. Uh, hi, I'm Sayaka Maizono. I look forward to getting to know you. Okay. Pop sensation. Oh, she's the pop star. Okay. Uh, the way she moves is positively mesmerizing. And that pleasant scent, I can't quite place. Sayaka Maizono. When I saw her name in that thread online, frankly, I was pretty surprised. Oh, yeah, that's her. Uh, she's in a pop group famous all across the country. In fact, she's their lead singer. As the ultimate pop sensation, she's in high demand to appear on TV and magazines everywhere. But actually, that's not the only reason I was so surprised to find that she'd uh, find out she'd be going to the school. I'm sure she doesn't remember, but... Well, never mind. That's weird. We need to We need to figure that out. Maybe she was in an accident or something. Uh, no matter how you slice it, she's really beautiful. Almost like a doll or something. Not a doll, you know. I'm alive. Huh, did you hear me? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. I don't like that. That's why I got creepy vibes then. That's, that's not fun. Means we can't keep a secret from her. Huh. <sighs> Oh, I bet she really is a psychic and she's just bluffing it out. Really good intuition, huh? I don't trust her at all. Now what? It mustn't be. I'm sure of it. Did... <laughs> Come on, dude. Just got carried away, I guess. Self-introductions are for introducing yourself, not bumbling through a bunch of idle chit-chat. You're right. Sorry, Makoto. We can talk about this later. Oh, well. Sound like Sokka really had something she wanted to say, but it's not like we'll never see each other again. Like she said, we can talk later. And this last girl, she's kind of weird as well, but... Not that you'll remember my name anyway, but I'm Toko Tokofugawa, okay. Writing prodigy. She looks like a writer. She looks like a stereotype writer for some reason. I actually thought at first she was like a reader. Similar things. Uh, yeah, she wrote a novel when she was 10 that got everyone talking and launched her literary career. Then, two years ago, she released Soul Lingers, The Ocean, a love story said to be her masterpiece. The book has such a hit with women that fishermen quickly shot to the top of every... <laughs> okay. Despite her age, she's won countless literary prize, and all her books are instant bestsellers. Which is why she's come to be known as the ultimate writing prodigy. What else could you call such a young and talented author? But I figured she'd be a lovely dovey type, what with her masterpiece being a romance and all. It's not polite to stare, you know. Her facial expressions, though. 
Oh. Filthy creature. No, I just thought... You just thought you'd never seen such an ugly woman. You just thought it was so funny. Dude. Whoa. That's not what I was thinking at all. Don't bother trying to lie to me. I know it's true. Otherwise, you, I know you can't stand looking at me. I don't know why, but she might actually be trustable. I mean, she's kind of crazy, but I think we can trust her. I might be wrong. I might heavily regret that in the future, but whatever. Uh, I don't really care, I'm used to it. Uh, talk about an inferiority complex, totally. I was way off about what a successful author would look like. Oh, more people? Well, this is gonna be long, okay. Uh, Aliasina. Let's talk to this dude. The biker gang. Uh, Mondo Owada, nice to... Oh, <laughs> okay, language. No, but I would expect it from him. Although, I think he, he might be... I don't know, I don't have an impression of him. Which means... He's the current leader of the largest biker gang in Japan. He's earned respect, even awe, from every gang in the country. He's the ultimate biker gang leader. Uh, nice to meet you too. His hair is really weird. Looks like an armadillo carcass. Uh, I'd better be careful around him. One wrong word, and I could wake up at the bottom of the sea. Well, you wouldn't wake up in that situation, but okay. Let's talk to this girl. She looks like an athlete. Um, but my friends just call me Hina. That's a nice name. Hina. Uh, swimming crew. Yeah, I was right. Uh, Aoya Sahina. She's been recording, breaking records, actually, in every competition since been elementary school. Uh, she's even been chosen as an upcoming Olympic, Olympic cadet. She is, without a doubt, the ultimate swimming pro. A combination of her ability, appearance, and um, proportions has been widely discussed online. Oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, what's your name again? Sorry, totally forgot. Makoto Naegi. Oh yeah, I knew it was something like that. <laughs> okay. Got it. You're all hammered into my brain right now. She she do, she gives like good vibes, but I think she's not trustable either. I don't know. She just kept repeating my name and moving her finger across her palm like she was writing something. What are you doing? You don't know? If you want to remember someone's name, you gotta write it on your hand three times. I've never heard of that before in my life. Neither have I, but I'll try next time because I'm horrible at remembering people's names. Hey, by the way, how did you spell your last name? <laughs> you spell it exactly like it sounds. Well, I have no idea. I'll just figure it out later and write it down. Anyway, glad to meet you. Sure, same here. Uh, well, one thing I learned is she totally easy going and bursting with energy. Seems like it. Stuck to this creepy girl. She's the model, right? Or something. Charmed, I'm sure. Her smile is very creepy. Fashionista. Okay. I don't like her smile at all. Anybody would recognize this one. Uh, she's got more charm and presence than any high school girl in the country. She's the ultimate fashionista. I've seen her on tons of magazines covered, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Huh? Well, of course, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshopped? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, edited <laughs> to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real. Of course not, dude. Come on, don't act so surprised. You're gonna make me all depressed. It's totally normal these days to photoshop the crap out of, <laughs> out of cover photos. If you're surprised by that, you'd be totally blown away by certain dangerous little diva of ours. They make the eyes and junk super big and tweak the skin so it looks all ceramic and porcelain. So, many dreams are getting crushed today. Okay. Uh, this girl. Kyoko Kirigiri. Can I ask her name? I guess... Okay. Kirigiri. I like that last name. What is she? Oh. Oh. Ultimate nothing. She's pretty tight-lipped, huh? Oh, but you know, her name didn't show up anywhere in that Hope Speak Academy thread. And I did see that there were students like me. Ones who didn't have any real identity or presence. Could this girl be one of them? It's kind of weird. Uh, so what are you doing at this school? What's that supposed to mean? 
No, I just meant getting invited here means you're some kind of ultimate something, right? So what ultimate something are you? <coughs> Why should I tell you? I mean, that's true, though. Uh, well, I guess you don't have to tell me. No, I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to. I like her. Nothing about her turned up online, so I was thinking maybe she got picked by chance, like me. But her face is like an iron mask. If she doesn't want to tell me anything, no point in asking. True. Let's talk to this. Uh, Chihiro Fujisaki. Okay. Ultimate programmer. Interesting. Sorry, I get kind of embarrassed whenever I introduce myself like this. Anyway, I hope we can get along. Same here, nice to meet you. Hmm? Maybe it's it's just my imagination, but have we met before? Um, I don't think so. We just met for the first time, which is why I said nice to meet you. Oh yeah, good point, sorry. You don't have to apologize for that. Oh, yeah, Chihiro Fujisaki is known for all the cutting edge programs she created. Uh, she's the ultimate programmer. She's also got that timid little bunny type thing going, which has endeared her to her legion of fans. Hey, so listen. Sorry for what? <laughs> Apologizing. Uh, well, just because you seem upset, you must be mad at me, right? No, not at all. I was just lost in thought about something. Huh? Lost in thought. Yeah, it had nothing to do with uh, me being upset or anything. Oh, that's good. I was afraid maybe you didn't like me. I'm glad. I'm starting to understand why her fans are so into her. Six. Four more people. Okay. Uh, those four over there are, are the only ones left. Scary dude first. Let's go. I am Sakura Ogami. What are you? Martial artist. Of course you are. Um, oh jeez. I almost asked her. Oh. <laughs> okay. The day I say something like that out loud is the day I get turned into human people. I would have gotten turned into a human meatball right on the spot. No doubt. But now I remember, she completed it in a martial arts tournament in America and won, despite being a girl. She's the ultimate martial artist. She fought in over 400 matches and never lost a single one. That thread also said a bit more about her. Some call her Ogre. That's harsh. Some even think she's the closest known relative to the primates, the famous Missing Link. Dude, people are savage. Any incoming Hope Speak students who are reading this, let me warn you right now. If you value their life, avoid her at all costs. I think she's going to be a good friend to us. Standing in front of her now, I don't think they were exaggerating about that. Hey, you. Yeah? I snapped to attention without even realizing it. Then she started to poke and prod at my body. What are you? <laughs> Muscular quality and quantity is right around that of an extremely ordinary high school student. What a shame. You're not at all fit to act as my training partner. No. I can be your friend, but not your training partner. <laughs> I'm not sure that's such a shame for me. Uh, creepy dude that looks like a Pokemon trainer for some reason. Uh, Yasuhiro Hagakure. Hiro. Okay, I like Hiro. Hiro for sure. Take it easy, yeah? I know I will. Where are you? Clairvoyant? I was not expecting him to be a clairvoyant. Uh, Yasuhiro uh, Hagakure, known as Supernova in the psychic community, the trend-setting ultimate clairvoyant. Honestly, I don't really get all that fortune-telling stuff. It's pretty much beyond me. Still, I can't help wondering if there is any truth to it. Ah, okay, I give up. Huh? What happened? I saw it. I looked right at it. Seriously, I totally saw it. Saw what? A guardian angel with a crazy perm chasing after Bigfoot running off with a skyfish in its mouth. I totally know what this dude means, of course. And that guardian angel is your guardian angel. Well, I ha I'm happy we have a guardian angel. I hope he catches Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, I guess we don't. But hey, uh, we should grab some brewskis sometime and get real deep into Lemuria and its civilization. We're not allowed to drink. We're in high school. Oh, you look older. <coughs> I'm actually 21. I've been held back a few times. See? And well, it's a long story. A few times? Yeah, I bet that is a long story. <laughs> okay. This dude, he looks mean. He looks pretentious as well. Uh, Byakuya Togami. Okay. Affluent progeny. I don't know what that means. Uh, hi, uh, nice to meet you. That's the most half <laughs> introduction I've ever heard. 
but there isn't really anything I can do about it. Even among the ultimate students, this one is special. Byakuya Tugami. He is the heir app apparent of his family's massive financial conglomerate. He's already started managing businesses, uh, operations, and his own personal assets are well vast. His title of ultimate affluent progeny is completely accurate. He's the definition of exceptional. That's everything I learned about him from the Hope's Peak Academy thread online. We're done with our introductions, right? How much longer are you going to stand there? Go away, I'm so Oh, okay. Izara says to me, you and I will never stand on the same level, like a king in training. And the final girl that looked like a Pokemon. I do not think we have been introduced. I am Celestia Lodenberg. I like it. Sounds, um, what do you call it? Gambler. Sounds, uh, I, I can't. Sounds German. There it is. Hmm. Ludenberg. It's my name. But if you don't mind, I would prefer you to call me Celeste. I don't like Celeste, but okay. Uh, of course. Why do you ask? If you don't mind, could you tell me your real name? I don't know what you're talking about. Celestia Ludenberg is my real name. But, as I mentioned, I would much rather you call me Celeste. She's polite, but pretty forceful at the same time. Uh, I didn't get to read that. I guess the rumors in that thread were right about her. The self-styled Celeste Ludenberg, she's the ultimate gambler who's never lost a bet. Others, uh, other than her obvious love uh, of gothic Lolita clothes, yeah. Everything about her is wrapped in a veil of lies. They say she entered and won an underground gambling tournament earning the title of Queen of Liars. She totally cleaned out the other players, taking their life savings and laughing as she did it. Oh. I look forward to getting to know you better. So we have to take everything she says um, pretty specially, I suppose. That smile is beyond deceptive. I'd better watch myself around her. Perfect. And with that, all introductions are done. Hmm. Even though they're all ultimate, they each have their own individual sort of uh, something. Okay, time to get down to business. This is no time to stand around making friends like a bunch of dull-eyed baboons. Oh, that's true. I think someone said something about a bigger problem or something. What was that about? Well, you see, Makoto, you said a bunch of stuff happened and then you were just asleep, right? Well, the same is true for all of us. What? Seriously? Just after each of us got in the main hall, uh, we lost consciousness, and when we came to, we were somewhere here in the school. That's what happened here, right? But that's just weird, that every one of us would just get knocked out like that. Exactly. That's why we're all freaking out. And that's not the only thing. You saw where all the windows in the classes and hallways were, right? Yep, they were all bolted. But instead of normal glass windows, it was a bunch of big metal plates. What's about that? Uh, plus, all my stuff's missing, even my cell phone. Yeah, you're right, I haven't seen my PDA anywhere, yet, either. And then there's the main hall here. The front exit is completely blocked by some giant metal hatch. But there wasn't anything like that when I first got here. What the heck? What's it doing here? Maybe we got caught up in some kind of, like, you know, crime or something. What, like, a kidnapping? You think maybe someone grabbed us and hauled us off and we're not actually at school? Come on, don't you think don't you think like that? Cheer up. I bet this is all just part of the school's orientation procedure. Yeah, I'm sure that's it. So I'm just gonna take it easy for a little bit. Oh, so you think they wanted to do something to surprise us? Well, if that's all it is, it's nap time for me. Okay. I was up way too late last night, so I could use a little should I. I could feel everyone's tension evaporating. But then it began. A bell. Okay, let's see. Is it Mr. Teddy Bear? It is. Testing. Uh, I don't like his voice, dude. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. The voice seemed totally out of place. It was so playful, so completely unconcerned. I couldn't help but feel a deep, unnerving dread at the sound of it. It was like hearing someone laugh at the scene of an accident. To all incoming students, I would like to begin the entrance ceremony uh, right now. Please make your way to the gymnasium at your earliest convenience. That's all. I'll be waiting. Okay. Uh, what the hell? 
Was that just now? Well then, if you'll excuse me. What are you gonna take off just like that? But yeah, now I get it. This whole thing was just to get us all pumped for the entrance ceremony. Man, thank god it was all a joke. I'd be totally freaked out if this was real. Well, it's real, so... Alright, guess I'll head out too. Well, wonder what they got planned, us for, planned for us next. Damn, I was totally looking forward to that nap too. Why do they have to go and kill the mood? Wait for me, I wanna go with you. Uh, that is that then, I will see you all there. Not that anyone cares, but I'm going to. Everyone took off to the, for the gym, but I was frozen where I stood. That uneasy feeling I had before, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And it looked like I wasn't the only one. This, this doesn't seem right. She's smart. Yeah, the announcements were totally weird. Maybe, but just staying put doesn't mean we'll be safe. Besides, are you guys just a little bit curious to find out what's going on around here? If we do, if we do not move forward, we learn nothing. The only choice is to push ahead. I'm staying behind her because she can protect me. <coughs> but still, I'm kind of, no, really nervous. We don't have a choice, we have to go. They said to go to the gym, right? Do you want to save the data? Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here. So basically all we did was an introduction to the characters. There are some characters that I really enjoy. There are some characters that I don't. I have a few concerning vibes about some of, some of them. The art style is still on point, it's still amazing. I really like the, the background music. It does remind me of a, a video game franchise I mentioned in the last video, which was uh, 999. Uh, then again, go check that out if you have the opportunity. And as I said, this is where I'm going to end the episode. You guys will probably see this um, next Sunday. It's currently Monday when I'm filming this. And I'm not sure when I'm going to film the next episode uh, because I need to film with some time. I've been recommended um, to have time because sometimes they take a bit longer than usual. This video is probably around 30 minutes, maybe even longer. I'm not sure. It's felt like it's been a while. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I leave a bunch of links in the description as always towards my blog, my social media, Discord channel. Make sure to check them out. And that's basically it. I love you all guys and I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye to all of you.